But they opened up a grave in South America. The grave was probably made about a thousand years ago uh, uh, and found a, this little uh, gold artifact in there. You can see it next to the dime for scale. Little uh, looks like an airplane about this big. The Smithsonian has it and they have it labeled as a stylized insect. Because they got this preconceived idea, ancient man was dumb, modern man is smart, they could not possibly have known about airplanes a thousand years ago. And yet, here they've got one. That's not a stylized insect. I'm sorry, they knew about flight. An Egyptian tomb was opened as 2100 years old, and it also had an airplane in it, a little model glider. How did they know about airplanes over 2000 years ago? Apparently they knew about electricity a long time ago because this battery uh, was found in Iraq from about uh, 2,000 years ago. The Egyptians must have known about electricity. This hieroglyphic shows what appears to be wires and a generator or something hooked up to these uh, two snakes. Either the snakes are producing the electricity or they're putting the electricity into the snakes. I don't know, but they must have known about uh, electricity a long time ago. They found a sunken ship in the Aegean Sea, which is near Greece in the Mediterranean, and there was uh, encrusted on there what appeared to be an analog computing device. This is uh, 2,100 years ago. This hammer was found in uh, rocks supposed to be 400 million years old by a lady in Texas. Battelle Laboratory said it's 96.6% iron, 2.6% chlorine, 0.74% sulfur. No carbon, and yet it is stainless steel. It won't, it, won't rot. it won't rust. Before the flood came, the Bible says the people lived to be over 900 years old. You could learn a lot in 900 years. Plus, when you consider a couple other factors, they lived in a perfect environment. They would have had much higher IQs, much uh, less to do as far as just daily things you have to do just to live. Most of those things are taken care of in the Garden of Eden. Don't need a house. You got perfect weather. So they can devote all their time to uh, study or learning things. Plus, Adam came pre-programmed from the hand of God, probably had an incredibly high IQ. And he got to walk and talk with God for a while till he sinned, maybe a hundred years. We don't know. But uh, got to walk and talk with God. The other factor to consider is Adam lived long enough to know his great, 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 great grandson. Noah's daddy could have known Adam for 56 years. So you get not only a much greater starting, uh, a much higher starting point, they already knew a lot because God pre-programmed it into Adam. Plus they lived a long time and could learn a lot more. Plus they lived long enough to pass this on to many generations. Today an awful lot of knowledge goes to the grave. You know, about the time you know it all, you're, you die. Uh, or you, by the time you know a bunch of stuff, you die. Imagine if guys like Einstein could live, you know, eight or nine hundred years. How much could they, how much knowledge could they accumulate in a brain like that? <laughs>